Hello, this is Jay, and here is a weekly briefing from Pangyo Techno Valley. First, here are the main news. Kyunggi-do Business and Science Accelerator, GBSA, hosts Kyunggi-do Innovation Policy Conference, analyzing the impact of the U.S. presidential election on Kyunggi-do's industries. The Kyunggi-do Business and Science Accelerator, GBSA, hosted the conference to analyze the impact of the U.S. presidential election on Kyunggi-do. The event featured expert analysis of candidates, policies, and potential effects on industries. The conference highlighted the importance of developing adaptive strategies and diversifying global supply chains in response to the election outcomes. Next, JL Standard leads innovative morning culture with launch of AI-based service Soullink. JL Standard is innovating the morning culture with its AI-based service Soullink, which aims to offer emotional healing. It recreates the deceased as digital twins and provides features like real-time chats, voice calls, video letters, and handwritten replies from the deceased. With a successful launch in Korea, JL Standard utilizes Pangyo's startup-friendly environment to enhance its AI-driven memorial service globally. Following this, Kyunggi Province aims to foster 100 climate tech startups, initiatives for climate satellites, funds, and insurance. Kyunggi-do made significant strides in climate technology by hosting the Climate Tech Conference. Governor Kim dong yeon announced ambitious initiatives such as launching climate satellites, creating a climate fund, and providing climate insurance. The conference also highlighted Kyunggi's commitment to nurturing 100 climate tech startups by 2026, showcasing technologies like alternative meat and battery recycling. And now, here are the headlines. Mine Inc., noted for its burnout solution, joins Google for Startups program Mine Inc., recognized for its AI solutions to combat burnout, has been selected for the Google for Startups program. The partnership will enhance Mine's capabilities and market reach, with its app Day Crush already achieving significant user engagement. The following headlines are from companies that exhibited at the Kyunggi-do Climate Tech Conference. Nuvilab participates in the Kyunggi-do Climate Tech Conference, leading food tech innovation with AI Food Scanner. Nuvilab, a company specializing in AI food scanning technology, showcases innovations to reduce food waste and enhance personalized nutrition. Nuvilab reinforced its role as leader in the food tech sector through networking and scaling its solutions at the conference. Innobus unveils innovative AI pet bottle autonomous collection machine, Sysem Repet opening a new era of resource circulation. Innobus introduced its AI-driven pet bottle collection machine, Sysem Repet. The system offers a user reward program to streamline recycling processes and foster sustainable resource circulation. It underwent a successful pilot test in Seoul, collecting 400,000 bottles in four months. Hugeect, a spin-off from Hanyang University, showcased Energy Block a system that converts kinetic energy from pedestrian steps into electricity. The company was selected for government projects to aid Korea's goal of achieving carbon neutrality by 2050. This is the news for today. Thanks for listening. See you next week.